This podcast encourages and empowers you to create your own unique real story, develop your own unique real statement, and discover your own unique real self. The power is yours. Good night, good night, Kathleen Hannigan. How are you doing on this wonderful, beautiful night? I am doing fantastic because I let myself be outside most of the day and it's so healing to be in nature. Oh, I can agree with that. What part of the world are you in right now? I'm in uh, Virginia uh, and it's, it was glorious today. It's a time of the year where it's like the air is soft and warm. It's not too too hot and muggy yet. <laughs> are we yeah. talking about like West Virginia or is it no, Virginia, Virginia? Right? Virginia, right near D.C., four miles from um, D.C., actually. All right, all right. That's yeah. great. All right. Well, do mm-hmm. tell us, which, which of your talents is responsible for us connecting at this specific time in history? I would say that the talent I have is um, an ability to really connect deeply with people at the level that, like at a soul level. Um, people come to me because they want to heal or transform or change in some way. And um, I didn't know it. I didn't name it until later, but I, I could feel and kind of communicate with the soul of the person rather than their, um, you know, their mind or their ego. Even if they, th- even if that's what they were using, I would speak to something deeper in them. And so I kind of got a reputation for doing that. And people <laughs> started to change. <laughs> So I like how you said I got a reputation for doing that. <laughs> yeah, I, I did. <laughs> so yeah. did you learn it from the? Well, I I actually think that I learned it from my maternal grandmother. Um, her name was Geraldine Murphy. She was from Dublin, and uh, I would when I would run away from home, which I did often. I was the oldest of seven. I would run to her house, and she had a beautiful little Irish kitchen with shamrocks on the on the wallpaper and a p- picture of the Pope and our sacred heart and Our Lady and you know it was filled with spiritual uh, representations but she herself was just a just a, such a source of love and non-judgment and uh, she would just listen to me she'd, she'd make tea she'd hot a pot of tea hot the pot you know before you put the the tea in because you want want it to be hot and and she'd make Irish soda bread and she'd sit down and she'd say so talk to me tell me what's going on mm. <laughs> yeah the that's how I learned conversation yeah 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 that's right so now she got me now that you've gotten that reputation why will you continue to repeat uh, the skill of uh, listening and speaking to the soul of individuals. Oh my goodness, Engel! It's amazing. I, I had, the other night I had a, a a session late with somebody. It was kind of like an off the cuff one. She said, "Last minute, do you have time?" I had a cancellation. She came in and she, she just was a very big, high executive kind of person. But she's already you know learned to trust me, and she, she just bare her soul and and so many things and we laughed and we cried and, and she left and I, and I was cleaning up my office and I, I heard myself say, dang, I am so privileged to be able to do this. <laughs> That's, I heard myself say that. Mm. <laughs> you know, it's so sacred. And, and I know that I help people that way because it's almost like that they, by my listening, I reflect back the, their wisdom that they already know. Mm. Yeah, it's a beautiful sight. Um, I'm reminiscing in it. Uh, I definitely, uh, I've found that the individuals that are able to have conversations with themselves are able to reflect the conversations of others and then help reframe them as well, as you probably mm-hmm. did uh, last yeah. night, I'm guessing. Yeah, yeah. And, and, I'm just, you know, wired in a way that that brings me joy, and I'm good at it. Um, and then I finally wrote a book about it because I figured, well, I've been doing it for so long, so let me kind of, you know, kind of create a a map for people, and when they as they go through their 
their transformational journey because it, I see the same patterns over and over where people come in and they have a presenting problem. They think it's about this or that. And then we go down a whole other, <laughs> you know, a whole other uh, beautiful, uh, through another doorway that they didn't know was there. And the thing they came in for was just, um, we called the presenting problem, you know, and, and opened a door to so much growth in themselves. So, when I see that, and then I see them become better people, this is how the world changes, hmm. you see. I, so this is my way to help make a better world. What's the name of the book? It's called Love Seed, The Template for Birthing a New World. All right. And uh, for those that are listening, where's the best place for them to connect with you? They can find me at uh, www.kathleenhannigan.com. And there's a page there for my book and a lot of wonderful free things they can get on my website as well. Wonderful. Tell me one other thing that you've done consistently, Kathleen, over the last three years. Um, I've created a garden every year and, um, and shared my garden with many people. Um, yeah, that's, what I've do- that's one thing for sure I've done and, and it's delightful. How does it make you feel? Joyful, joyful, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Why would you suggest other people do that, uh, even just spend time in the garden? Yeah, just spend time there and touch the dirt, touch the flowers, because you're touching the mother, you're touching our mother, you're touching what's really important, and if you can connect to that, um, it, it, it's healing and grounding, and it helps you, it connects you to, to like the beauty of being a human being on earth, like in matter. Hmm. Amazing audience, you're hearing it live from Kathleen Hannigan. Again, you can connect with her at KathleenHannigan.com. She is the author of Love Seed, the template for birthing a new world. Kathleen, let's switch gears for a moment. Let me invite you now into my time machine that is surrounded with beautiful, warm, blue Caribbean water. Kathleen, hmm. what's your earliest childhood memory well it, it's um, not a very happy memory but it's that i was couldn't sleep and called my mom and she came and then i called her again and my dad came and he he scared me he threatened to th- to hang me out the window hmm. how, and, old were you? Yeah, how old were you i was about three and a half four why um, do you think this memory is so clear um because i was terrified and i it was trauma. It was traumatic, and I swallowed that fear, and then I had to go on a journey to heal. Hmm. Uh, how do you see that memory connecting to who you are today, from the point of view of your mother coming the first time and not returning the second time? That's a great question. Um, I, I've had to learn to um, be be very self sufficient. And in that self-sufficiency, I came to know myself very well. And then my healing has been to become more interdependent. And that's what the whole book is about, really. Um, that uh, The effect of that trauma, but the healing from it. Mm-hmm. Would you say that having the ability to create a space for people to bear their souls is always nice no (laughs) no (laughs) sometimes it's so thick and challenging and heavy and sad um but it's always sorry it's always it's always enlivening or would you say it's always your fault that the person is reacting the way they are no 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 i i think um no, I don't think so. I think that sometimes they just need to be in that space, but and I need to hold the space for them to be that way. It's interesting as a child that you had that experience when your father blew up the way he blew up, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. But it's really yeah. cool that as much as it was terrifying that you are that person who is able to to minimize the effects of it, understanding that it's not your fault, but exactly. it's truly a reflection of mm-hmm. who the person is, yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, that was part of my healing to realize that 
that that was my dad being st- stressed out and frustrated and it wasn't about me and um, that's probably what's allowed me to be a good, really good therapist yeah because it's one thing to say I read a book about it but it's another mm-hmm. thing when you say I've experienced that I know how it feels I know how it feels hmm. yeah that's amazing yeah. All right. If we fast forward to when you were 12 years old, what was your favorite song? The House of the Rising Sun. Are you oh. serious? <laughs> 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 all right, all right. All right. I loved it. I mean, yeah, yeah. It was kind of intense, right? <laughs> it is an intense uh, song, yeah, yeah. Ding, 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 ding. Yeah, yeah, I hear the guitars immediately. All right, my friend. Well, we've arrived at our destination. But before we get off of this time machine, there's a small declaration form. So it's yes or no. We're going to move pretty quickly here, though. Are you ready? Mm-hmm, yes. Kathleen, mm-hmm. have you chosen someone to pass on your skills to? I'm doing that now, yes. Are you mm-hmm. married? No, I'm not. Do you have children? I have three grown children. Do you believe in God? I do. Do you have an inner circle of friends? I do. Do you watch TV for more than three hours a day? Not at all. How about three hours a week? Mm, Probably not, no. What about screen time, the phone and the computer? Is it more than eight or less than eight hours a day? It's less, unless I'm writing my book. It might be about eight. (laughs) All right. Did you say Bobby? And well, only if I'm writing my book, that then it would be longer. But no, otherwise, I I'm just not into the TV. <laughs> all right, all right. If you had to share with us your own unique real statement, a statement that represents who you are, Kathleen Hannigan, what would you say that is? That each and every one of us has everything we need inside to make a difference. Love it. I my attention could not be swayed, but usually, but the door in the background, I'm like wondering, is someone in here? <laughs> It's so funny. My my friend walked in and walked out. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> and she was like, oh, I'm getting out. <laughs> well, that's wonderful. Yeah. All right, my friend. Well, again, Kathleen, this was such a great pleasure. Before you leave, is there anything else you'd like to share with our amazing audience? No, just that um, I'd love for people to read my book and um, stay in touch. That's wonderful. Kathleen Hannigan, again, thank you for being on What is Inspired by 12 Minute Convos with Angel Jones. This segment has been brought to you by Amazel Enterprise.